Hello and welcome. My name is Anastasia Zatula. I'm a Reiki master and today we continue our education on our aura and the energy centers that make that aura. Now today we're going to talk about the throat energy center, our sixth, uh, fifth energy center and one of the most important ones. Even though a lot of people overlook this, uh, this energy center, this chakra, I think this center could either make us or break us. Uh, and I'm not talking about the third energy center because that one really focused on actions. Uh, the fifth energy center gives us status and that status is, uh, could really, really elevate us in life. Uh, if you develop your fifth, um, your fifth energy center, you can become somebody without doing anything, so to say. So if on the third energy center you have to do actions on the fifth energy center, you only need to make sure that you, um, that you speak, that you speak into existence what you want to have, that you give yourself status or that somebody else gives you the status. And uh, that's why I think um, this energy center is so crucial. You probably, like me, know a lot of people that are brilliant, but nobody knows about them, nobody heard about them, and they basically uh, just waste their talents uh, because, because nobody speaks for them. They don't speak for themselves, they don't feel secure to speak for themselves. On the other hand, there are a lot of people that, <laughs> that are not as brilliant, but yet they know how to speak, how to present themselves, and they become super popular. We live in this, in the uh, in, in the time of um, of popular bloggers and uh, and I mean, some of them I just basically <laughs> they just know how to talk and how to present themselves. They are not they don't have a particular maybe knowledge or particular skills, but they do know how to speak about themselves. And this is where the throat chakra comes in. Now, um, I love this this energy center very much. Why? Because for many years I overlooked it. I just was developing it because I had to develop uh, all my energy centers and I had to have a, a well-rounded um, aura around me. So I had to, I could not escape this particular energy center. I had to work on it, but I was never particularly paying much attention to it. And I never really saw a huge importance in it, which was my biggest mistake. Now, when I start working on it, I mean, obviously I couldn't escape it. I had to work on it. When I started working on it, I noticed changes in my life. And I was like, at first I thought that it was a coincidence, but the more I observed myself, the more I, I understood that it was my work on my uh, fifth energy center, on my throat chakra. For example, at that time I worked in, um, in finances, as you know, uh, I just don't want to, the microphone so I worked in finances and I basically had to um, I was managing people's money I had to sell them particular products that would benefit them I had to uh, sound convincing I had to like I really needed to to speak and uh, and stand by my product the product that I was offering and it was uh, rather challenging all the time but when I started working with my energy and especially with my fifth uh, uh, fifth energy center, I noticed that people started listening to me more, that I was selling much easier and um, anything that I would propose was just uh, accepted. Um, I also noticed that my communication with my friends, with my colleagues became much smoother and much more harmonious once I start working with this energy center. So I do hope I convince you that this energy center is important. Now let's look into this. So, uh, a throat uh, uh, center, uh, energy center, is located in the throat, uh, closer to, to the spine. So, the throat is kind of small, <laughs> but just imagine that you have a ball of um, pale blue light, and it basically just like in the middle of the throat, closer to the spine, right here. And basically, you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's if you want to feel it. Now, uh, uh, our throat chakra is, um, uh, corresponds for our presentation. So our status, our presentation, um, and uh, our self-value, our voice, our ability to communicate, our ability to, uh, to put our point across without, uh, <laughs> without doing much actions. So it is a rather important one. You see, um, people don't see it 
uh, as a very important one because it's not love. It's not the uh, root chakra that brings you wealth. It's not uh, solar plexus chakra that bring uh, that gives you actions. Um, but it is um, um, it is rather important. I would I also um, um, the throat chakra gives us a status. Um, yeah, I even put over here, if you ever wanted to be somebody, you should work on your throat chakra. Yeah, because throat chakra gives you status and sometimes you get status without doing nothing. For example, you can marry into, um, into aristocratic family or even a royal family and, and here now you, you have a status. So you can marry somebody who is wealthy, now you are a socialite or maybe you can, um, you shared a couple of your ideas and now you are, um, you're a famous speaker or something like that. So a uh, throat chakra can really, really um, propel you <laughs> in life without doing much actions or without uh, uh, having any kind of feelings. Now, because you see our neck is so small, the throat chakra also is small. You need to be really careful. I mean, it takes the same place in our aura, but it's, um, it's not it's not as widely developed as all the other. You see, our heart, especially in women, our chest is usually big because our heart chakra can really expand much. Now, our throat does not expand as much, but even a little expansion can, uh, can bring a huge difference in your life. Um, so this chakra is dominantly masculine, uh, and this is, it's usually men who give us status. Uh, so, for example, um, it's not a woman who proposes to a man, it's a man who proposes to a woman, right? A man marries a woman and makes her wife. Um, it's, uh, so it's, it's dominantly masculine chakra, and it's up to a man what kind of status we will have. Now, because we live in a masculine society, we all are a little bit masculine, and, uh, uh, and we can give ourselves a status. So we don't need uh, a masculine society to... Uh, to give us status. You must understand that in feminine society there wouldn't be no statuses. Status only uh, exists in masculine society because ego exists in masculine society, competition exists in masculine society. Um, and that's why we do have a status. Um, so, but it's usually a man who gives status or you yourself. For example, I'm telling you I'm a Reiki master. I'm giving myself a status. Now, um, I actually have a, a diploma for a Reiki master, I study, I know that, but I could tell you anything, I could tell you I'm an astronaut, and if I'm confident, if my throat chakra is developed, high, like highly developed, I wouldn't even need to back up my words, you will believe me. <laughs> so, uh, this is, uh, that's where we really, um, we give ourselves status, we, we're telling the world what we are, so to say. I can tell, um, um, I'm a successful entrepreneur or I'm a successful speaker or something like that and depending on how developed my throat chakra is you will either believe me or not <laughs> um, so but it is us who gives us status unless there is somebody else who will give us status so for example somebody heard me speaking and basically um, got so impressed by my words by my ideas that they invited me to on like a like some huge conference so somebody gives me status but it's all about about status really um, and uh, uh, as I said you can be you can have all the brilliancy in you you can do all the right actions you can feel all the right feelings but if you don't have if you don't speak about them if you don't uh, express yourself um, you basically uh, you will not reach that high as i mentioned in another video i actually had a client well she's not really my client she's somebody who listens to to my videos and uh, she listened to my video how do you block your money so on all energy centers you block you can block money somehow and she uh, admitted that she blocked her her money on her throat chakra because she would never speak about what she does and, and that she wants to be paid for it and how much she wants to be paid for it and once she started working with it i mean um, she was able to kind of to give herself status and start receiving um, rewards for that status so again uh, you can do all the right actions feel all the right feelings but without speaking up for yourself without giving yourself status or somebody giving you status you won't be able to uh, to get ahead of you um, of um, ahead in life why because uh, these are um, these are ethereal chakras they are they're connecting us to um, 
they're connecting us to to a collective you see and in the collective you have to present yourself somehow now uh, this uh, this chakra is one of the first three chakras that are energy of air so people that have a lot of uh, placements in Gemini um, Libra Aquarius they have these chakras rather developed and you probably uh, notice it yourself people that have air they love to speak about themselves they're pretty confident especially Aquarius they have ideas they even if those ideas are super silly I mean they are very confident they speak about them they convince others that those ideas are amazing um, the same as Gemini and Libra they connect with people easy they are not afraid to speak about themselves they are not afraid to uh, to make connections so in them this chakra is developed and um, um, people who don't have much air I mean it is a little harder like me for example <laughs> I don't have air so it took me some time to start to start speaking um, about them um, about um, about myself now uh, you can you can look at the person and see whether their throat chakra developed or not people that have underdeveloped throat chakra usually hide it like this or don't have it at all so the more the more the person like uh, like tries to hide them uh, hide their, their neck the less developed uh, their throat chakra is i can really look at the person and say what kind of issues they have just by their physical appearance now, if you notice, people energy of air usually have long, long, long neck, and they don't mind. They have, first of all, they're slender, and second, the whole like uh, this neck area is always somewhat in, elongated. <laughs> you can uh, you can notice they they don't they don't hide it, they don't cover it like this. They hardly ever slouch. Uh, this is not really for them. So their neck is always open like this. Um, now. Uh, and the, you obviously know that they do connect um, well with others they express themselves their ideas they are not afraid of their ideas i swear uh people energy of air that i have in my life i mean sometimes they say some kind of nonsense and i'm like i understand that this is nonsense i i can see that this is complete <laughs> complete nonsense but yet they're so confident that i'm start doubting my judgment and i'm like maybe maybe he is right or maybe she is right maybe you know, I, I love talking to these people because uh, they, mm, they allow me to fly, so to say. They allow me to believe that everything is possible and there is nothing impossible. So, but again, um, they have different problems like uh, grounding, for example. Um, now, um, as I already mentioned, the throat chakra is the presentation in the society. Um, now, ideally, your energy should raise up from bottom to up, kind of like this. So if you have a strong heart chakra, your throat will develop on its own. So if you have a strong self-value, uh, self-love, if you know that you're good, if you know that you're an impressive speaker, if you know that what you say is right, if you really have true love and connection to the society, you will speak about yourself. This is ideally how it should develop. So you basically... Uh, um, this amazing person uh, you love yourself you love everybody else you connect with people around you and uh, uh, you uh, you start speaking about yourself so you speak about yourself and you get some kind of status you get rewarded this is ideally why uh, younger generation right now becoming so popular because they truly connect they love themselves they connect with others and this uh, this gives them confidence to speak about themselves to speak about their ideas this is ideally how it happens, but I'm coming from a different generation when speaking about ourselves was not really um, a thing. And, uh, and also uh, giving yourself status was also not a thing. It was more like, uh, let, let others judge me and, and decide what, what, whether I'm worse or not something. So let's forget about that and let's, um, uh, let's learn how to speak for ourselves. Um, that's uh, but naturally if you will develop your heart your throat will start automatically um, getting uh, developed this is I think uh, what, ha what helped me with my throat chakra is that I opened my heart and uh, if you didn't listen uh, to the video about the heart please do watch it it's um, it's extremely important as well now um, dun -dun -dun. I wanted to give you my example because before I will tell you how to develop the throat chakra and what is unde underdeveloped and overdeveloped. Um, I had the, I had a few examples. Uh, I have a few examples, honestly, but I always had um, not an issue, but I always had challenges with this uh, with this chakra, and I didn't know why. I always had issues speaking up for myself, 
even though I was a really good student always, um, I was rather talented in everything I do, I still was always afraid to speak for myself. Uh, plus I had kind of society that would be um, judgmental if you are too <laughs> speaking too highly about yourself. So um, I, uh, my, um, the example that probably will be relevant to you is uh, when I had a limousine company, I actually had a limousine company um, before I moved to New York and started working in finances. And I believed that my company is so amazing. It was amazing. I mean, I had all the right licenses, all the right vehicles, all the right, uh, like my customer service was on point. Everything was perfect, but nobody knew about it. You see, and I couldn't understand why nobody, why I don't have that many clients. If my company is so amazing, my company was amazing, true, but nobody knew about this. I had to speak about it somehow. I had to. I had to go to Chamber of Commerce and speak to people and present and be confident in what I'm providing. Just advertising was not enough. I had to basically give status to my company. I had to be the voice of my company, so to say. Um, and only when I started going to Chamber of Commerce, to hotels, making deals, only then my, my business became to thrive. Um, another uh, example I already told you. Um, was was at my at my work in finances with my clients and another one was when i started making candles if you don't know i do make candles i charge them and you can purchase them not right now because i'm traveling but when i will um, when i get back you can you can order them so when i start making the candles again i would not speak about them and i believe that people should just find me somehow miraculously i'm not sure and uh, i was i was even shy to uh, to speak about them like on, on certain events because I believe that it's um, um, not very modest to, uh, to speak. I knew that they were great. I knew that they bring the results, but I believe that I was, not, I was not supposed to talk about them. Like somebody else has to speak on my behalf, which was a huge mistake. And at that time I already worked with my throat chakra. It, just, uh, um, it was just not something that came easy to me. Um, now, obviously I overcame that and, uh, and I started getting uh, more clients. Another thing that I'm still debating is um, me sharing testimonials. As you see, if you follow me on Instagram, I never write nothing. So nobody knows whether, <laughs> whether there are results or no results. And uh, I don't share this. I'm not sure why, but I don't share the results of my clients. Maybe because I'm a private person, but uh, um, my followers, energy of air, tell me all the time, why don't you share? Why don't you share the results and testimonials? But again, this is work in progress. So, um, underdeveloped throat chakra, and see what it's you. Um, you're shy to speak. You have this fear of public speaking. <laughs> you know, I, um, I graduated from college with honors, but there was one subject that I had to retook three times, and it was speech. <laughs> And it was not the problem was not for me to to prepare the speech and present the speech. I mean, I I went through that. I mean, obviously, I had a good speech. I I had it prepared. I um, I know it was interesting. The problem for me was to gather twenty five people for the final project and present it in front of them and record it. That was the problem for me. The problem was for me to connect to those people and convince them to come and spend an afternoon with me. You see, um, it was, uh, so if you have some kind of issues like this, that you don't know how to connect with people, that you don't see pleasure in connecting with people, then maybe, uh, maybe you have issues with the throat chakra. If you are shy to speak, especially not only shy to speak about yourself and your products, but shy just to, <laughs> just to talk. Um, another uh, indicator is uh, you have difficulties expressing yourself. Like it seems people don't understand you or you talk and then you, um, you feel like the words just don't, don't come out right. Um, uh, or when people don't understand you, they don't see the point that you're putting. Um, another one is you feel awkward when you're talking. Not nervous with particular people, but when you, just when you're just making a conversation with a stranger, you feel awkward. Like you always judge yourself, uh, by the way, by the, uh, by the particular way how you talk or how you express yourself. Like me, I, you see, I speak with an accent <laughs> and English is not my first language, not my second language, not third, it's my fourth language. So because it's, uh, uh, it's my fourth language, I do miss a lot of um, words, even though I got my master's in it, I still, 
<laughs> my speech is still underdeveloped, so to say, and I do judge myself on that again. But when I'm um, Mm, when I'm getting too judgy, I start working on my throat chakra and I understand that I live in the United States and in the United States everybody has an accent, so it's okay. Um, so, but if you feel like this all the time, if you feel like, uh, like you, your speech it just doesn't come out right, um, then you probably have, um, you probably have uh, issues with the throat chakra. Um, another one is... <laughs> So this, this one is, is interesting, but it's true. Either you don't talk at all when you are in the company or you talk too much. Like you feel like you need to talk to fill up the emptiness. Uh, um, like you need to talk to impress people um, uh, to, to prove some kind of point. And I used to have it. Like if I would be with the friends, I would either... Um, it was not like I would, uh, I would be quiet. I never really was particularly quiet. With the friends, I felt comfortable. But I would sometimes talk too much because I felt like I need to, I need to impress them. I, f I felt like if I will not show that I'm interesting, they wouldn't want to socialize with me, which is absolutely wrong. Um, that's also an indicator. Uh, if you notice, people energy of air don't talk that much. I mean, they speak, but for the most part, they don't feel obligated to fill up the, um, the empty space in the conversation. Um, and uh, it seems like everybody's accepting them just as they are. Um, another one is uh, you you tend to lie or you tend to say something um, that's not true. You tend to exaggerate things. This is, <laughs> this is an issue of, um, um, maybe it's more actually a dirty throat chakra, uh, like unbalanced chakra. But if you tend to, to say something that is not true, uh, it could be an indicator that you feel like you need to say something to make yourself look better, which is obviously not needed. Um, another one is uh, undefined status. That's a huge, huge indicator. For example, you don't know who you are. I'm asking, uh, like, you, what do you do? And you're like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of this. I'm doing a little bit of that. Um, usually, people with a strong throat chakra, they know exactly what they do. They know exactly who they are. They know exactly how to present themselves, um, and they are not afraid to say, you know, like, uh, I know every single person energy of air. It's hilarious, you know, you ask them what you do and uh, if they start like, let's say they taken courses to become a, um, to become an, uh, I'm not sure, um, a nurse, let's say, they already, before they even start studying, they already say, I'm a nurse. So they are very confident in, um, um, in establishing their position in life. And if you have issues to establish yourself to kind of um, uh, to confirm what you are, then you do need to work with the throat chakra. Like for example, um, I worked in finances for some time, so I work in corporate world for many years, and I'm kind of used to that. I'm used to be a corporate <laughs> a person. Now, when I started uh, working with women, I started making um, making candles, uh, doing consultations, doing energy alignments. I could not really. I mean, it took so long, so long for me to to define myself, to to, to finally say what I'm doing. Like, if somebody would uh, you know, would ask me on the street, "What do you do?" Uh, I would be like, um, um, like I would come up with anything, but just uh, I would never say what I'm doing, honestly, because I felt like they wouldn't understand me. Um, now, right now, when I'm telling people, um, well, I teach women to be feminine, or I work with people's energy. I mean, they, they really respect and they get so interested, you see, but I had to give myself that status before, uh, before, they, mm, before they start uh, being interested in that. So if you have undefined status, if you're not sure what you are, if you're not sure what you want to be, then definitely you need to work with on your throat chakra. Um, uh, another, another one is um, um, you, you stutter. So you know people that um, that couldn't pronounce words um, really good. Uh, these are people with um, with issues with the throat chakra. And uh, I actually um, was told the story. I was really impressed a long time ago. There was a guy who had this issue, and what he did, and only later on I realized that this this was his way to work on his throat chakra. He would go to the seaside where nobody would see him and he would put small pebbles in his uh, in his mouth to, like really fill it up and he would shout uh, he would try to um, to be louder than the waves 
like it was so interesting for me at that time um, it was long long time ago somebody told me that I till now I remember this story and he was able to get rid of the of the stutter now he was working on his throat chakra not he, not how he should have been but in his own way he was and he was able to to get rid of it and he actually speaks um, normal right now um, but uh, but if you if you know somebody who has this issue they actually do have um, um, a weak throat chakra underdeveloped I actually knew somebody from my childhood who was like this and you will tell me well Anastasia it just doesn't happen like this they probably had some kind of uh, some kind of shock in childhood and he did but why did he had that and, uh, and nobody like not another person I even remember how he looked uh, his throat was always like this like he was hiding his throat so um, it's um, it is really you can fix it with but just by developing your throat chakra um, another uh, if you see people with uh, like really have issues on their throat like wrinkles or something like that that's also it's missing a energy so you can you can kind of start uh, uh, filling it up and um, and the throat will become uh, <laughs> looking better so to say all right so uh, this is underdeveloped throat chakra this is in people who don't have energy of air and they never worked on the throat chakra um, now what is the dirty throat chakra or well overdeveloped you couldn't really have it but it could be dirty so um, the indicators of the dirty throat chakra is gossiping the first one <laughs> um, so every time you speak you see throat chakra is uh, is basically our voice our words every time somebody speaks bad about others or wishing them bad or wishing himself bad or herself or speaking um, um, negatively this is uh, unbalanced throat chakra this is it's wrong it shouldn't be it shouldn't come out like that but this is if you know and i knew people energy of air usually people energy of air are not like this they usually don't get to this low kind of vibrations but if they do gossip if they do uh speak negatively i know that their um their throat energy center is unbalanced um so gossiping wishing bad uh shouting cursing like shouting uh if you're having a conversation and somebody just start shouting to to put their point across this is um, um an under unbalanced underdeveloped um, not undeveloped but unbalanced and dirty throat chakra also another uh, huge indicator is oversharing the information so just uh, just giving your whole life story out of uh, just because I'm not sure just, just because you want to be interested or you want to be um, you want to impress others but this is also um, also a dirty throat chakra um, also oversharing somebody's information um, and uh, and I met uh, and I met this this people it's um, it's an interesting really observation when they when they have the status when they have everything but for some reason they need to put some kind of uh, some kind of uh, like mud into their status it's uh, it's strange so if you have any of this uh, your throat chakra needs needs some work doesn't mean that it's not developed it just means that it's developed into in the wrong direction and you need to to do something about it um now uh, balanced throat chakra this is how you should feel when your throat chakra is perfect i probably should have started with this but okay um, so the balanced throat chakra you have clear and effective communication when you speak you are really uh, put your point across you really know how to say um, it makes sense people really enjoy listening to you um, now another thing uh, that you do have you have confidence so when you speak you speak confidently you are not like well I don't know maybe sure yeah you know like this you are like really <laughs> <laughs> you speak you you're not afraid to to express yourself you really speak uh, confidently no matter what it is so it could be like I said I have friends energy of air and sometimes they they say such nonsense and I'm like but he you know he sounds so confident that I start doubting myself I'm like really maybe he's right like I told you about uh, about a friend of mine he's just he has this idea of uh, of uh, getting a few loans and buying himself a huge property and i'm like how are you going to back up the loans i work in finances i know how it works 
but he speaks so confidently about it he's like well there are ways this and this and i'm like maybe i don't know everything <laughs> so you know, confidence isn't like a like a bright indicator of a balanced throat chakra now another one is authenticity usually people with the balanced throat chakra they are very true to themselves they say what they want to say they um they they're faithful to themselves they're faithful to to their ideas to their status to their presentation in life and they are authentic they are not afraid of be perceived in any particular way like um, um a couple of weeks ago <laughs> i saw this uh, this mother and a little child in the store and i started talking to them because they was talking in english you know and uh, and the boy he had a little tail you know, I'm not in the United States, so it's not like uh, normal to see to see a child in a costume. And it was not Halloween yet, right? But um, um, but the boy is like, um, <laughs> so this is what he told me. He's like, um, I'm I like cats, and I want to pretend that I'm one of them, but I'm not a cat. I'm just I just want to pretend like I'm one of them. So the mom was smiling. I was smiling. I'm like, well, you sure <laughs> have a, a cute uh, tail. Um, so he's authentic you see he's not um, he he's basically telling what he what he feels like he wants to be even he doesn't want to be a cat he just wants to pretend to be one and the, it's really um, it comes off very genuine um, now what else they have they have a really amazing listening skills and they could understand so people usually energy of air they're not uh, you can't really be, you can't use them as a cry shoulder. Um, they wouldn't allow you that. But if they're interested in you, they will listen. And they know how to listen. They know when to speak. They know when to allow another person to speak. I really love that about them. I really enjoy socializing with them because they could be, they, I would say that people energy of air are the best communicators because they don't allow you to cross the borders where it's already inappropriate, but yet they... Uh, they enjoy conversations. They enjoy connecting with others, and uh, they know when to listen, when to when to speak. I would say if they would be more empathetic, they would be really good coaches and mentors. Uh, but because they are not, and they don't really care <laughs> much about others, they uh, they are not. But they are good listeners, um, and they they really could um, um, could make you feel special through conversation alone. Um, and uh, one more. Um, bright sign that you have a balanced throat chakra is alignment between your thoughts your words and your actions people that have a strong throat chakra usually um, know what they want know how to do it and um, and and can speak about that so um, it's, there is no rush, like uh, uh, there is no disruption basically. Like for example, um, I have a friend, energy of air, and one day she's texting me something. Hey, can you um, can I call you? I'm like sure. Love that about them. They never just call. So she's calling me. She's um, I'm asking you as a as a person who worked in finances. Do you think I can? Um, um, so she basically has an idea. She needs to raise the finances for that. Um, and I'm like, are you sure you want to do this? And she's like, yeah, I'm sure I want to do this. I know how to do this. I'm just, I just need to, to clear up a few steps before I start doing this. So you see, she has an idea. Um, she speaks about this. She finds the solutions with her words and she does the actions to get to that idea. I mean, a month later, she was already done with that idea. But the whole point is that she's not like, I would love to start baking cakes, but I don't know how to bake cakes and I don't want to ask anybody and I don't want to Google. You see, the, the words, actions, and um, uh, and ideas are all in alignment, and this is just amazing. If people energy of air would be able to ground all this, they would be just magnificent. <laughs> um, so that's that's what it is. So if you uh, if you communicate uh, clearly and effectively, if people understand you, if you put your point across without much uh, much pressure and much uh, much work, um, if you're confident, authentic to yourself. If you have amazing listening skills and if you are if your thoughts words and actions are in alignment then you have a balanced throat chakra congratulations <laughs> now if you don't let's work to get you uh, to get you there and I probably should have mentioned 
that um, that the fifth uh, uh, the throat chakra um, um, is called Vishuddha in Sanskrit. I, I didn't mention it, I'm not sure why. Um, but all this information you can really get um, get from Google, so I'm not even uh, I'm not even spending time on that. All right. So how to develop it? Um, the easiest way to develop it, just as uh, just as with any other chakra, you need to breathe through it. So imagine you breathe in and the air goes into your throat, and you breathe out and it comes out from your from the back of your throat like this. Just imagine like there is a uh, wind goes in and out. At one point, after you will breathe like this for a couple of minutes, you will start feeling like little tension in your throat. Don't squeeze the throat, just feel the tension and imagine that this tension becomes bigger. At one point you will feel like your throat is filled with uh, this warm kind of gooey energy. Imagine that your lungs are inside of your throat and you're breathing through them. This is the easiest one really. <laughs> easiest to develop any chakra because um, your focus stays where your breathing is and uh, your energy goes uh, where your focus stays so if you want to develop throat just keep the focus there and let the energy circulate them um, what else you can do you can imagine a ball of blue light right inside of, th of your throat don't lose it and just uh, keep, keep it there imagine there's like vibrating blue light inside of your throat and just keep your focus there. You can uh, listen to music or listen to this um, to this uh, video and just uh, imagine that there, there is um, there is light. Don't lose the light. Don't lose the focus. I used to do it like this when I used to have clients uh, in my finance career. In the first five minutes, I would uh, I would keep a light in one of the chakras. This was like my game for for me. Um, usually, because the first five minutes uh, is like. Not that, <laughs> not that important. Um, uh, don't squeeze your throat in. Uh, make sure that your throat is always open. So don't, don't do like this. Don't hide yourself. Don't, uh, make sure it's always uh, elongated. Remember, you need to keep uh, the energy here. You know, if there is no space for energy. How are you going to keep it there? So make sure that you always uh, stay straight, that your shoulders back, and that your throat is, um, is elevated like this. Again, I also, as you see, you know, my throat is not, uh, I don't have a giraffe throat, unfortunately for me. But, uh, but I do try to, you know, always uh, to keep a, a straight posture that I do have, thanks God. And I always keep, make sure that my throat is, uh, is, is up. Um, now, what else? Uh, you can do, uh, the throat chakra is easily developed through singing. So if you like karaoke, singing or anything, you can do that. You don't have to really professionally sing. You can sing at home or in the shower or anywhere else. You can sing in your car, but you need to be, you need to speak, you see? You need to pronounce some kind of, um, some kind of sounds. You can, if you don't want to sing at all, you can do uh, m some mantras. And the mantra for the throat chakra is uh, hum, hum, yeah. So you breathe in, and when you breathe out, hum, <laughs> feel the vibration in your throat. Um, um, you can do that. Or you can just sing, you know, you can put a song, some kind of song that you like and sing along. Or you can do, uh, you can do some karaoke or whatever, whatever it is in, that you want. Uh, for maybe like 10, 15 minutes a day would be perfect. Um, another what else you can do you can use some stones um, stones like aquamarine and lapis lazuli uh, the light blue stones usually blue topaz is also good um, so the light 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 blue the oils you can use oils as well but oils are heavy usually oils are very grounding so we don't use oils for the three upper chakras now, if you want to use an oil, you can use lemongrass. Um, yeah, I put here lemongrass. Now, if you notice, uh, people energy of air don't much like perfumes. They prefer, uh, they don't like really nothing heavy, no heavy scents around, scents around them. Um, because energy of air is very vibrant, uh, very light, and um, oils usually ground us. 
all the good for for lower chakras um, what else you can do you can speak when you are uncomfortable to speak like uh, um, well I couldn't say that I'm uncomfortable to speak right now I do like to make this videos I like lives also but uh, uh, there were times when I was uncomfortable because I didn't know who is listening to me I didn't know who will listen to me and uh, um, and it took me some time also I worked in finances so I had to present myself I had to speak I had to be confident about what I'm advising what I'm um, um, what I'm offering people uh, you can't really be successful um, if you don't speak for what you believe in so to say so you need to start speaking um, um, when you are uncomfortable uh, now you will say well on the stage I'm not doing nothing I'm a housewife when do I speak well you speak when you are maybe with your husband or maybe with some of your friends and you feel like people are stepping all over you I mean you need to start speaking you need to start saying something you know get out of your comfort zone um, you can to start with you can start speaking to yourself when you're in the car for example or when you are taking a walk in the park when nobody hears you because you wouldn't want people to think that you're losing it um, you can start talking to yourself also it is very important um, especially if you're manifesting something if you want a different life for yourself uh, talking into existence is important so you can take a walk and just start uh, start saying to yourself um, I'm, I'm buying a lot of ticket, I'm winning the lottery, then I'm going on a shopping spree to Milan, and then I'm, um, I'm buying a house for my whole family, and, and something like that. So, uh, or you can, um, y if, uh, if uh, you need to work on your confidence, you can basically just walk around and, and talk. I'm an extremely confident person, I am, um, I'm amazing, I, um, <laughs> I'm so loved, and, and stuff like that. So, you need to you need to, to basically find your voice and start speaking. You know, a person who doesn't speak, who doesn't present themselves. I'm not talking about constant chatter, but speaking when uh, when you need to speak is important. Um, the um, the affirmation for the root chakra was I am. The affirmation for the pleasure chakra was I feel. The affirmation for the third solar plexus chakra was I attract. Uh, the affirmation for the heart chakra was. Uh, I connect I love I love or I connect and the um, and the affirmation for the throat chakra is um, I speak so for example if you will say I am um, if, if you you need wealth for example or recognition you can say I speak wealth into existence or I speak recognition into existence um, I love wealth, it will be on the heart chakra, um, I attract wealth, will be in the solar plexus chakra, I feel wealth and I am wealth on, those, on the bottom two. So like this. But you would need to start, uh, to start talking. I notice people that have issues with throat chakra, um, they can't even speak to themselves, you know. It's like almost impossible to get them, uh, to squeeze anything out of them. I had somebody who was, um, so... She was listening to my videos um, and her friend was listening too. So her friend wrote to me something. She, she wrote to me a question and she said, my friend loves listening to you so much, but she's too shy to, um, to write you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you see, you need, to, you need to start speaking. If you're listening to me now, don't be shy, do speak. Um, you need to start speaking. One thing, if you don't speak because you don't find something interesting or it's not really for you, that's one thing. But if you want to say something and you're shy to say something, then it's an issue. Okay, I think that's it on the, on the throat chakra. I do hope I encourage you to work on it. I mean, this is an important, important chakra in your life, especially if you don't have um a man in your life that will give you status so if you were um, brought out if you were like um, if you were born in a wealthy family your family gives you status if you um if you are a protege of some kind of successful person then they will give you status if you are married to a man a man gives you status but if you are none of those 
<laughs> then you have to give yourself status. You have to be you have to be able to speak for yourself and the kind of and present yourself in the to the world. So it is uh, it's crucial. Again, no matter how much actions you will do, no matter how you feel, no matter none of this uh, will give you status, will elevate you in life very fast uh, until you will learn how to present yourself. Now, ideally, all your chakras got developed and your throat will automatically open and kind of speak for itself. But uh, that's not how it usually happens in our world, at least. Um, now, um, underdeveloped throat chakra, so you have issues if you, if you could not speak, if you're shy to speak, if you are afraid of speaking, if you are afraid of uh, crowds, um, if you feel like you need to speak a lot to impress others, if you're awkward when you talk and if you stutter, if you don't have a status for yourself, these are all um, um, issues of un underdeveloped throat chakra. Um, your throat chakra is uh, dirty, unbalanced. If you if you speak a lot of negative stuff, you gossiping, discussing others. Um, if you if you negatively talking about yourself or others or anything around you, um, this is a, this is a dirty throat chakra. Now your balanced throat chakra is when you are clear effective communicator you just enjoying yourself you're authentic with yourself you're confident with yourself and the ideas that you present your um, your thoughts words and actions are in alignment and you uh, are a good listener and how to develop throat chakra you need to breathe through it uh, you need to make sure that you um, you don't squeeze it so you give it a, its space that it has um, you need to uh, sing singing would be perfect you need to start talking when it's uncomfortable or start with talking to yourself. You need to say things that are uncomfortable for you. Um, you can use some stones, light blue stones usually, um, like aquamarine. Uh, oils, would, the good ones would be lemongrass. I would not use oils at all, but if you want to, lemongrass is good. You can even put it a little bit over here on, the, um, on your throat or in the back. Um, yeah, and imagine the light blue, the, the blue light inside of your throat. And it's just pulsating inside. Okay, that's it on the throat chakra. I do hope it is useful. I hope you enjoy this. Um, next one will be our third eye chakra, our vision. This is also important, um, important chakra. If you believe that one of uh, the cha some, some energy centers are more important than the others, you are mistaken because they all are important they all make our aura so our energy field consists of this um, of these layers that are cor that corresponds with the energy centers in us so there is no really um chakras that are more important or less important now because uh, i'm a woman for me particular chakras are more important uh, like for example the pleasure the, my heart and my, my vision, these are important chakras, but all my chakras are developed, why? Because even though a man gives me the status, if I don't have a strong throat chakra, he will never give it to me, you see? That's why some women are, um, are forever waiting for a man to marry them because they don't have, they, they don't believe they deserve to have a status and a man doesn't give the status to me. Now, if I am sure that I'm deserving of being a wife, or being a, um, be the girlfriend or whatever, then a man will have to give it the status to me because I'm very strong in my position about who I am. You see, so it is, um, it is crucial. All, the, all seven centers are crucial, all of them. Uh, none of them are a little more like some more important for our survival. Like our first, um, first chakra is crucial because without it, we, it it's very hard to survive. But um, in our development, all of them are important. I hope it makes sense. If you have questions, do ask, please. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Do work on your, um, on your throat chakra and let me know how it, uh, how it goes for you and whether you had any kind of success. What you should start noticing once you will start working on it. So if you will spend 10 minutes a day breathing through your throat chakra, imagine the light and uh, like uh, feeling this energy in here, you will see that you will speak to people um, more confidently, that you will attract people that are um, um, amazing communicators, that people will understand you uh, with half a word, you wouldn't have to explain and prove yourself. You will also be able to 
convince people um, if you need them to um, to back you up or um, convince you in your product if you need to sell something like it's not uh, it won't be like uh, it's not like you would be selling them a lighter and pretending that it's not a lighter no it won't be like this it's just the people that are will, will want to purchase this lighter will understand that this is an amazing lighter that this is a, this is just a must have you see and uh, and you will see how your life will transform somewhat yeah it's not it's not crucial for your um, survival but it is crucial for your development and your elevate elevation so to say um so let me know how it, it goes for you and i will see you in the next video bye everybody enjoy your day